the erythrocyte sedimentation rate, also called a sedimentation rate or Westergren ESR, is the rate at which red blood cells sediment in a period of one hour. It is a common hematology test, and is a non-specific measure of inflammation. To perform the test, anticoagulated blood was traditionally placed in an upright tube, known as a Westergren tube, and the rate at which the red blood cells fall was measured and reported in millimeter per hour. Since the introduction of automated analyzers into the clinical laboratory, the ESR test has been automatically performed. The ESR is governed by the balance between pro-sedimentation factors, mainly fibrinogen, and those factors resisting sedimentation, namely the negative charge of the erythrocytes. When an inflammatory process is present, the high proportion of fibrinogen in the blood causes red blood cells to stick to each other. The red cells form stacks called rouleaux, which settle faster. Rouleau formation can also occur in association with some lymphoproliferative disorders in which one or more immunoglobulins are secreted in high amounts. Rouleau formation can, however, be a normal physiological finding in horses, cats, and pigs. The ESR is increased by any cause or focus of inflammation. The ESR is increased in pregnancy, inflammation, anemia or rheumatoid arthritis, and decreased in polycythemia, sickle cell anemia, hereditary spherocytosis, and congestive heart failure. It may be increased in kidney cancer. The basal ESR is slightly higher in females. History this test was invented in 1897 by the Polish doctor Edmund Bynacki. In some parts of the world the test continues to be referred to as Bynacki's reaction in 1918 the Swedish pathologist Robert Sano Fajenhras declared the same and, along with Alf Wilhelm Albertson Westergren, are eponymously remembered for the Fajenhras Westergren test, which uses sodium citrate anticoagulated specimens. Uses, Diagnosis it can sometimes be useful in diagnosing some diseases, such as multiple myeloma, temporal arteritis, polymyalgia rheumatica, various autoimmune diseases, systemic lupus erythematosus, rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease and chronic kidney diseases. In many of these cases, the ESR may exceed 100 mm per hour. It is commonly used for a differential diagnosis for Kawasaki's disease and it may be increased in some chronic infective conditions like tuberculosis and infective endocarditis. Stages in erythrocyte sedimentation There are three stages in erythrocyte sedimentation 1, stage 1 arulo formation, first 10 minutes 2, stage 2 is stage of sedimentation or settling, 40 minutes 3, stage 3 is stage of packing, 10 minutes, Sedimentation slows and cells start to pack at the bottom of the tube. Disease severity, it is a component of the PCDAI, an index for assessment of severity of inflammatory bowel disease in children. Monitoring response to therapy, the clinical usefulness of ESR is limited to monitoring the response to therapy in certain inflammatory diseases such as temporal arteritis, polymyalgia rheumatica and rheumatoid arthritis. It can also be used as a crude measure of response in Hodgkin's lymphoma. Additionally, ESR levels are used to define one of the several possible adverse prognostic factors in the staging of Hodgkin's lymphoma. Normal values, note, millimeter per hour, equals millimeters per hour. Westergren's original normal values made no allowance for a person's age and in 1967 it was confirmed that ESR values tend to rise with age and to be generally higher in women. Values are increased in states of anemia, and in black populations. Adults, the widely used rule calculating normal maximum ESR values in adults is given by a formula devised in 1983. This formula is no longer credited. Other studies show only a small dependence of ESR on age and much lower values, as seen in the following. ESR reference ranges from a large 1996 study of 3,910 healthy adults, children. Normal values of ESR have been quoted as 1 to 2 mm per hour at birth, rising to 4 mm per hour 8 days after delivery, and then to 17 mm per hour by day 14. Typical normal ranges quoted are newborn 0 to 2 mm per hour, neonatal to puberty, 3 to 13 mm per hour, but other laboratories place an upper limit of 20. 
Relation to C-reactive protein C-reactive protein is an acute phase protein produced by the liver during an inflammatory reaction. Since C-reactive protein levels in the blood rise more quickly after the inflammatory or infective process begins, ESR is often replaced with C-reactive protein measurement. There are specific drawbacks, however, for example, both tests for ESR and CRP were found to be independently associated with a diagnosis of acute maxillary sinusitis so in some cases the combination of the two measurements may improve diagnostic sensitivity and specificity. Several studies investigated the differential diagnostic values of ESR and CRP in inflammatory disease, and concluded ESR is a potential meaningful biomarker for disease differentiation. References External links, my discuss on ESR, American Family Physician article on ESR, ESR at lab tests online.